Hello guys Suswaktam. Welcome back to our new video. In this video we will be discussing an important topic related to the labors and the workers working all over the world, giving their best to make our world a better place. And the topic is International Labor Organization. So the video will include What is International Labor Organization and some of its history? Then the main activity of the International Labour Organization in the field of safety, health and welfare. Then the objective, important convention recommendation and ending the video with conclusion. So firstly let us begin with International Labour Organization. The International Labour Organization was established in year 1919 at Geneva. The head of the International Labour Organization is known as Director General. Between 1919 and 2006, the ILO adopted 186 conventions and 195 recommendations. The ILO has published over 250 studies and publications dealing with safety and health. Now moving further, we will be looking towards the main activity of the ILO in the field of safety, health and welfare, which can be broadly classified as under First Conventions and Recommendations Second Standards and Codes of Practice Third Exchange of Technical Information and Research Fourth Technical Cooperations Activities Nextly, we will be discussing about the objectives of International Labour Organization. The objective of ILO is as under. First is to establish and improve labour administration. Second is to see that workers get their basic rights, which are the rights necessary for living. Third is to take care of the social welfare aspect. Social welfare includes healthcare, empowerment, housing and other programs geared towards assisting the poor, unemployed and marginalized in society. Then fourth is to create opportunity for employment and look after the training needs of the workers. Fifth objective is worker is also a human being and his right as a human being should protect it. Then next is to ensure better working condition for the worker. Then seventh objective is to suggest measures for social security. Social security includes medical care, sickness benefit, unemployment benefit and many more. And the last objective is to suggest ways and means for the worker's protection in working place. So these were the eight main objectives of International Labour Organization. Now, furthermore we would be looking towards The Important Convention Recommendation Year 1981, Convention No. 155, Occupational Health and Safety The main three principles are First, to prevent accident Second, to frame material policy Third, to prevent injury to health. Now, method. To frame laws. Then, to enforce law strictly. To review the existing laws. To guide the employers and the workers regarding legal provisions. To fix function of the competent authority. Then, next is to specify different process of the work. Also, to notify occupational accidents and diseases. Then eight point is to hold detailed inquiry in case of occupational accidents and diseases. Ninth is to publish annual report by the industry regarding accidents that took place during the year along with investigations report. Then to introduce a system to examine chemical, physical and biological agents. To undertake and evolve scientific and technical methods. To impart education and training regarding safety and health to the workers and supervisors. Then 13 point is to ensure smooth coordination between various authorities and organization to have effective safety and health measures in organization. 
Next is to reduce risk to the health hazard of the workers. Then to plan measures to deal with emergency and accidents. Also to make suitable arrangements for first aid treatments. And lastly, workers not to bear any expenses incurred for safety and health measures. Now at the end, the conclusion. Preventive measures are most important to deal with accident and occupational diseases. Moreover, safety environment is also very important. Both these factors contribute in minimizing industrial accidents and as a result, it brings occupational health and safety to the workers which is the prime motto of ILO. So guys this was all about ILO International Labour Organization where we discuss about the history of ILO, the main activity of the ILO in the field of safety, health and welfare, then important convention or recommendation followed my conclusion at the end. So guys that's all for this video hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. And for more videos related to chemical engineering, industrial safety, chemical safety, process engineering you can subscribe to this channel and stay updated to new videos.